Hello, I'm Eduardo Sandoval from the Heat Lab, New Zealand. We will spend 15 minutes talking about my awesome. I hope you enjoy. So, you that was awful. Have you noticed how boring is listening and seeing a human in a video? Furthermore, see it for 15 minutes. Uh, come on. Nobody can stand that. So that's why I'm here. I'm Socrates, one of the now robots in the hit lab. So today, I will help Eduardo to present his paper, making HRI accessible to everyone through online videos, a proposal for a micro mock in human-robot interaction. Enjoy! We find that the correlation between education and human-robot interaction is fascinating. How shall we ask HRI researchers attract students to this research area? How do we explain a research focus to managers and supervisors, especially when the budget and funds are to be located? In addition, explaining HRI research as what we do for a living to a non-technical audience, such as our grandparents. These questions are not trivial, as explaining what we are doing to people who are not familiar with the field has an important impact on our work. The most obvious example is researchers applying for funding. The committees usually are interdisciplinary teams who interpret our applications according to the information that they have about the proposal, but also based in their academic backgrounds. Human-robot interaction is very new as a research area, so it is likely that some of the panel members or other faculty members in our institutes or universities do not have enough information to understand the importance of HRI as a discipline. One of the other compounding issues for most technological institutions and educators is that there are not enough students, and females in particular, interested in scientific careers. Recently, we have witnessed a widespread trend of robotic courses for children. Certainly, this is a concentrated effort to encourage children to aspire for scientific careers. However, this is not enough. Our experience about such courses is that they are strongly biased towards technical skills. They are dominated by male children and in general are insulated from the usual school curriculum. However, not much attention is paid to teach children about the social applications of robots. Therefore, children are unable to visualize the robots participating in their daily lives as agents in the current day and age for the future. There is a need to adapt or revamp the curriculum and content of such courses by not contemplating regarding the social impact of robots, but also dealing with issues related to aesthetics, social skills, artistic impressions, etc. Hopefully, via inculcating more multidisciplinary topics within robotic courses for children will eventually enable the organizers to attract more girls. In general, we can observe a wide variety of measures being taken to promote the awareness of robotics through more traditional means. In this paper, we contribute towards HRI literature by positioning the possibility of utilizing video and online media to promote the uptake of robots and their subsequent applications today and in the future. Giving a live demo per se is only restricted to a small audience and hence does not have a large outreach. As a consequence, we have explored other forms of media, particularly video, to be our research. In November 2012, we created a video called the Gundam Style, in which five now robots and a paper robot dance to the popular pop song Gundam Style from C, the Korean singer. The video has been watched by more than 700,000 people on YouTube until today, with very positive comments. The response was overwhelming with the video even appearing in various news outlets. Most of the comments on the video clearly indicate that the users are entertained as they refer to the cuteness of the robots and their dancing abilities. However, 
hardly any user command could be deduced to refer to any particular social application of the robots, which should be considered as a particular trait of this particular video. For example, its primary purpose was first to entertain and then consequently educate. In order to combi an educational perspective to HRI, we adopt a different strategy to create a YouTube video based on the work of other authors. To explain to the general public in the most simplest manner about human-robot interaction, YouTube offers a dynamic and interactive platform to promote and propagate science, with millions of users per day. Likely a sizable amount is interested in learning about science or particularly something closely related with science such as fiction, technology, design, and other disciplines. In this current video, we create and we were inspired, inspired by videos on the a sub science channel. The rapid frame rate of hand drawing is depicted in the various sub science videos. It's a technique that is low cost and requires only a few resources, such as, such as a good script, reasonable drawing skills, and more vibrant drawing thoughts. Instead of using PowerPoint slides and static images, simple animations can be sketched that can be engaging for the audience. The content of the video was based on introductory concept, concepts in HRI, such as their presence in fiction, media, and religion, the impact of robots in our daily lives, the disciplines involved in HRI, and the uncanny valley. We conclude the video with a few sample research projects that we were involved in. Our experience with the robot parody of Gundam Style gave us insights about how robots can be popular in the media. Likewise, our experience in producing various educative, educational movies for HRI, such as Eugene Inato era and our video Introduction to HRI, provide us with an artistic and educative perspective on the prospects of utilizing online media in the outreach of HRI. Based on our experience and insights as HRI researchers, we propose the following general guidelines in order to promote the uptake of robotics with the general public. 1. Reach out the children as they are the future researchers. In addition, parents will automatically get involved. Promote and encourage sharing of content and material amongst parents and children. 2. Use popular marketing techniques for the outreach of HRI. We should not hesitate to use the same techniques that successful products and companies employ for their promotion. 3. Not only investigate the possibility of teaching HRI through a mock, but also promote social and collaborative learning through a mock. The motto for mocks is education for everyone, everywhere. It's especially useful for an upcoming and job discipline such as HRI. 4. Explore the artistic, aesthetic, design, social, humanistic, philosophical possibilities of human-robot interaction. Such topics can attract the attention of people and students who are traditionally not interested in technical subjects. And 5. Make it easy! Most of the scientific disciplines are perceived as difficult and people are intimidated to study about them. Instead, we should focus on the fascinating facts about HRI, the moral dilemmas, the philosophical discussions, and the creative technical solutions of these problems. We are that a more structured way of promoting HRI can be more effective in keeping track of the interest being generated in prospective HRI researchers and students. We now propose a new use of the videos close to the already existing massive open online courses, MOOCs, with significant changes in the format. MOOCs have been very popular around the world since 2012. Coursera.com, edx.com, futurelearning.com and others offer a high level of education for free, or a very low fee, from prestigious universities to a large number of students. The topic of or content of the course can be virtually any topic. A lot of talented people can now access distance of remote education 
that previously was limited for economical, social, and geographical reasons. After a couple of years, there is a perception that MOOCs have become an ineffective educative tool. MOOCs have a very low rate of completion, by some accounts even lower than traditional education. Initially, students are very enthusiastic to enroll in a MOOC in order to avail the opportunities that online courses offer. However, many issues inhibit the participants to finish the mock. Participants are commonly that mocks have certain flaws, take too time, assume too much knowledge, cause lecture fatigue, and a poor course design among others. It is understandable that it is very difficult for lectures using videos in a mock to compete against other media which attract the attention of users with extravagant clips of information, dynamic shots, beautiful hosts, and other similar marketing techniques. Certainly, in most of the mocks, presenters use slides with at time graphs, charts, and other figurative information. However, they are static. Static images with a voice in monotonous tone, not offering any engagement and enjoyment to the users on the other side of the screen. Crumb suggests that cool material for visual information should be engaging, distinctive, simple, and easy to read. Also, the level of the challenge in the course is very important. Considering these factors, we propose that a micro-massive open online course, MicroMark, for HRI, could be very beneficial and allow people and students to know about the field and what exactly HRI research do. We propose alternative strategies to employ while conducting a mock for the field of HRI. We define our proposal as a micro mock as we advocate that online course in HRI with outreach proposals should be succinct and simple. Duration of the lessons and each video snippet should be not longer than 2 or 3 minutes. If we compare with most of the mocks available, these figures are significantly lower than an average mock. Secondly, the format of the videos should be fun, engaging, and simple. It is also imperative to have a passionate narrator. That passion must be reflected in the subtle clues given by the voice over during the video. Another important factor is the use of an exclusive channel for the education content in an open system without sign up and login as YouTube or Vimeo. Optional assessments are another feature which is integral to the success. One of the main a link with optional evaluation for the users at the end of the video can be useful for interested users wishing to know more about the topic. Keeping the people motivated for longer periods of time through the course is also imperative. As social animals, individual learning is difficult for most people. Lastly, we would like to comment on the possible content strategies in a micro mock for HRI. A micro mock can be used to exhibit a live simulation of a robot. Not all participants have access to a robot and via live video feed can visualize and interact with the robots. We are ambitious and we consider that the design of a comprehensive and global curriculum for human-robot interaction is possible in order to create a strong generation of new researchers interested in the area. That is in benefit of the researchers. The more people know about what we are doing and the impact and value that HRI could provide to their daily life the more support we will have for all our future research. The creation of a micro-mock can offer the advantages of an outreach channel and a micro-mock that can be useful to all kinds of users. In the class future, we will create our own HRI channel on YouTube. We will use the same driving in high rate frame technique to create a corpus of 10 12 videos of 2 or 3 minutes. Then. We can design evaluation instruments so that interested students can complete their self-assessment and validate their knowledge in the area. Certainly, the experts in this field are more than welcome to collaborate with us. 
we wish to create a strong bond between top researchers in our field and provide opportunity to the general public to learn about our work in social robotics and human-robot interaction. Okay. Thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully it was a good example about what we are proposing in our paper. Uh, let me know if you have questions, so please contact me at eduardo.sandoval.pag.category.ac.nz.